So, this is this amazing guitar that was discovered by uh, adventurer and world traveler and uh, bon vivant Harry Coleman. And it's got a lot of interesting features which we're going to show you here. So one of the things is when you're on the road as a musician, you need to uh, take care of your personal hygiene. There's, there is a kind of dental floss uh, feature here, and then you can cut the dental floss off here. That's very handy. And uh, then, of course, there's, there's the tape measure for sizing up other musicians. You've got to have a tape measure on your, uh, on your guitar here. And uh, um, we don't have a compass, but we do have a level so that this was actually originally because uh, I think because uh, uh, Mary McFerrin was originally a banjo player, something like that. They wanted a, uh, if they didn't have a banjo player so they could see which side of the mouth the drool was coming out of to level the stage, they'd use this level here. And there's this clock here for telling you uh, when to get off the stage, which might be at an early moment. And when you're in the middle of the set and you need some libations to help you uh, get through the night, um, there's a little flask here and you can turn this little handle and get a little bit of whiskey out of there. Here's to you. Okay. What else we got? We got the, the fill-up thing for the whiskey here. We have uh, the antenna for the, uh, the wireless connection so uh, we can get online if we need to or whatever. And then, uh, I'm not sure we'll be able to see it here, we might film this later, but if you get up straight up top of this, there's the uh, fiber optic lighting that lights up these, uh, these things here. And then we have the tuner, which is right here. So if you, uh, that, that red note means we're probably a little bit low here, and we might have to raise that up a little bit, or maybe it means we're a little high. Well, we're not, yeah, there we go. Now we're in tune there. And then, of course, there is the, uh, the pistol, in case you have uh, angry fans. And for the pistol, what you got to be able to do is uh, is come over here, and you can see that there is a laser sight. You got that? So, um, so you can sight in on somebody before you uh, shoot the hecklers. It's always a good thing to have on your on your guitar. There is a oh, you should see the label inside, which says Fender McAfee. See that? And there are various names on there. The, Teleferry and the uh, Mac Caster and the, the things they were thinking about in order to name this amazing bit of machinery. And um, uh, there is at this end, there, if, the, if the pistol doesn't get your angry fans, you always have the option of the switchblade knife. And that's uh, one of the things we have on here as a special feature. Um, I think I can get this back out. And, uh, well, we might not be able to right now. We'll just leave that out there. And uh, I think that have we covered pretty much everything. So you don't see a guitar like this every day. And, and the fact that it is, uh, in addition to being all those things, it's actually a pretty nice sounding in instrument. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now there is a bottle opener down here, which uh, may get used before we're done filming at some point. And uh, that's it. This is the guitar built by the strange partnership of Leo Fender and Mario McAfee. And uh, we'll also show you some uh, footage on documentary uh, documentation. Okay. So this is the documentation from the law office of Pickett, Plunkett, and Strum. And you can see uh, this information. I'll, I'll just let it sit here for a while. You can see the signatures of Mario McAfee and and of course Jim Plunkett, the attorney, and uh, or Pickett, I think it is, and uh, Leo Fender there, and uh, you can read that for a second. The document reads, This document establishes a partnership between Leo Fender and Mario Macaferri this 16th day of May, 1953, for the sole pur and exclusive purpose of building acoustic guitars. In the performance of the lawful purpose of this partnership and in consideration of the promises and undertaking of both parties. It is agreed that the body provided by Mario Macaferri will be used in combination with the neck designed by Leo Fender. A smaller sound hole will be used, both parties agreeing that the original was just too damn big. It is further agreed that as soon as electronic tuners, LEDs, lasers, 
fiber optics and 9 volt batteries are invented, they will be utilized as well as other items hereinafter found beneficial or useful, including personal protection. It is further agreed this one prototype will be built to test the market, which will probably be lost in history, as are most prototypes, unless computers are invented, where said prototype will show up for sale on eBay. We, the undersigned, have executed this agreement effective the month, day, and year referenced above, and it's signed by Jim Pickett, the attorney, and then by Leo Fender and Mario Macaferri. Here's to you. Okay.